teams then, Italy against Germany. I'm John Champion, and covering this game alongside me, someone who certainly knows a thing or two about playing at the top level, it's Jim Beglin. The central characters standing tall for the national anthem. Away we go then. Italy against Germany. Abate. Montalivo. Giacarini. Pirlo has got hold of. He's bursting forward. Italy producing the first shot on goal of the game. Pirlo has teed up this corner. They escape imminent danger. Chiellini. Abate. Hedera. Now Müller. Chiellini. He moves in swiftly. Balotelli. Can go on the break if he can be found. To throw in. Metasacher. A switch of play. Now Müller. Abate. Schweinsteiger makes the interception. Kedira. A timely intervention. The forward push gains momentum. It's opened up nicely for him. Chance here. Italy have scored. And there's the first goal of the game. So we resume at 1-0. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Abate is all over him. A really impressive run through. Possibility here for a cross. A chance. Schweinsteiger.
Schweinsteiger is the player to take it. Pumps it upfield. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Muller hasn't really been given much freedom today. Well, it looks like he's been the one who's targeted as the danger man here, and as a consequence, he's getting the special... And there is half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Tight old game, this. 1-0 the scoreline. So the second half gets underway. Mats Hummels, Schweinsteiger, quickly closed down. He tried going it alone, but without success. Well, it's good possession, but you've got to have something more substantial on the end of it. And surely he must score. He can take the shot on here. He scores. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, what can you say about that goal? I just think there was too much ball watching. Uh, nobody's really looking to see who's drifting into good striking positions, and it's a bad one to give away, it really is. It's 2-0. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Balotelli. Müller. Schweinsteiger. Marquisio. This looks promising for Italy. The ball played down the middle. Easy pickings, really. Montalivo. Montalivo makes a run through the middle. Closer, looking to play on the break. Marquisio on the ball. Schweinsteiger. Abate has robbed him. Now Giacarini. A shot! They were so nearly punished for their mistake. Giacarini with quite a hit, and as we know, he can score from there. But we've seen it from the fella before, even from that sort of range, he's just really, really capable, and I think he must be catered for it. They have to work on that and get to him sooner. That'll be a throw-in. There's something going on down at the bench, I think it's going to be a substitution. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here, it's, it's pretty late. That's not going to make it through. Basali is all over him. Giovinco. Pedera wins the battle and emerges with the ball. Pedera is fouled and he gets his free kick. He could be in trouble here. 
referee's having a word with him, but it's only a warning. He needs to be careful, though, with his tackling. We're into the last five minutes. A crucial intervention there. Love. Pedera thumps it long. And that's a foul. Final whistle. A well deserved win for them here as they went out fully focused and put everything into the contest and they've come away with the win that they wanted. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a fabulous football match like that. That was a real roller coaster ride for the fans. And all that remains is for me to thank my co commentator Jim Beglin as our live coverage comes to a close this evening.